Joined now by Generals head coach Scott Abel following a 28-23 loss to center. Uh, coach, just a few thoughts about the game? Well, you know, I, I'm extremely proud of how our kids played. You know, I mean, we played extremely hard. We played with a sense of urgency for maybe, you know, maybe the first time all year, you know, I saw a lot of determination from our kids. You know, but some of the things that have been haunting us all year continue to haunt us, you know, our, our usefulness and the mistakes we seem to make at the wrong times. You know, you fought through uh, two turnovers that really cost you in the first half, but your team still led 17-14 to 14 at halftime. Just a little bit about the way your team was able to battle through that, uh, even though they were, you know, young and making some of those mistakes. Yeah, you know, I was extremely proud of that, and we felt good at halftime. I felt like uh, it was kind of a turning point for a young team. Um, you know, but with our with our depth situation right now, it's just, you know, we had to expend a lot of energy there in the first half to overcome those mistakes. And, uh, you know, that, that hurt us in the second half. You know, so, you know, we got to do better to try to cut down on those mistakes so, you know, we, we can play a full game. And that's an uh, explosive center offense that, uh, you know, you held to just over 300 yards of total offense and, uh, and 28 points. And, and just a little bit about how your defense was able to battle them. They didn't just move the ball right down the field on you. No, they didn't. You know, uh, our defense, you know, rallied, played extremely well. You know, we did give up a few big plays. You know, if you take those handful of big pass, pass plays away, um, you know, it was a you know overall great effort. You know, so you know we, we'll learn from this. We'll get better. You know, we had an ODAC play. Um, you know, I, I believe we take confidence away. That's a nationally ranked team. That I think we will. You know, we watch that film and know that we left a, left some points out on the field. And uh, you know, we'll we'll get back to it and get ready for Guilford. And now you got a bye week, a chance to uh, rest up and then get some of your injured players healthy, and then you come back with Guilford. Just a little bit about. You know what you guys will will do during the bye week, and and how that'll help you get healthy. Well, I think the two biggest things that that we'll use a bye week for first to get healthy, like you said, and uh, two to help some of our young kids continue to grow inside our offense and defense. I mean, you know, uh, you saw a, a, a ton of freshmen running around the field tonight, and uh, they're a very talented group. But you know, we're asking them probably to do more than we should at this point. But we don't have a whole lot of choice with our depth and our injury situation. So it'll be nice to have these extra days to to really try to catch them up before we get into conference play. Well, thanks a lot, Coach. Appreciate it. Thanks, Ron.